Hi and welcome to this performance review of the Ruji Ray EST350 wireless bridge. A fantastic device, great warranty options on this. So simple to set up. You have seen some of my other videos that I've done on it. But as we get going, um, this is going to be tested on a one-to-one, one, one gigasecond internet connection. Successfully would normally test, obviously without being the wireless bridge, just plugging a computer in, at the high 900s megasecond. So we use that as our benchmark when we do some speed testing during the course of this performance. Obviously, we're really probably going to look at the upload speed the most because often the ISPs are overloaded on their download. Um, and so we will see a little bit of performance issues as we go along. But hopefully you'll be able to see how well this bridge uh, performs. We've not used any clever tools to line this all up. It is all simple, straightforward, roughly pointed in the right direction. So let's get this testing underway. This is the unit itself simply mounted on a pole and we're gonna do a first test here looking at about 30 meters. So we're heading for that spot in our neighbor's garden um, there where the dirt tracks are um, and that's gonna give us a good benchmark to see how well this performs. We're then gonna challenge ourselves a little bit more. We are going to head um, 300 meters away uh, to this place uh, just underneath these uh, power pylons that are part of the railway line. All right, it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge, gonna be no direct line of sight there, particularly some trees in the way. And then we're gonna head um, up to just under 800 meters, right in that green patch, right in the distance there. And we're gonna do another speed test from that location. So that should be our three locations, which will give us three different speed tests. So here we are at the 30 meter mark. We've just set it the second unit up. It's 30 meters away, just powered by battery. You can see we just pointed it roughly in the right direction of the unit there up in the distance on the balcony. Right hand side here is what I can see on my Ruji app. You can see it's synced at 400 meg and we're running the working mode standard. We're then gonna do a speed test from this location um, and see what performance we're going to get. So here we can see that we're getting about 256 meg on the download. Um, let's just let that settle out so we can get that 253 meg on the download. All right, and pretty solid again, a little bit higher as we talked about before the upload will probably be a bit higher and that's the one I'm more interested in. So hopefully it's gonna settle, settle around about 315 meg a second, there we go. We can now do something called change this to high bandwidth mode. There you can see working mode takes about a minute to resync, and it's gonna use more of the available channels bonded together. You can see we've now synced at 866 megasecond and a massive jump up in the performance. We're hitting there close to the 400 megasecond just for a moment. Let's see what it uh, comes out at when it's finalized its download speed test. We see we've got 337 megasecond and the upload's probably more indicative for us we're getting that 580 or so. Um, and really that gives an idea of what this connection can do because we, if we're not really relying on the ISP. So 587 meg a second is what we have managed. So let's turn out to this second site. As we said, a little bit of a challenge. You can just see the top of the house there in the distance. Again, we're pointing this roughly in the right direction. We've got a fence, we've got trees. Uh, we've got power interference there as well, but the device has already synced um, and is ready to go. We are just powering this, like I said, by a standard battery. You can just see this connected here at the bottom of the pole. Or it only uses a few watts of power, so it could work great down at your solar um, station if you've got this down by the gate or something like that and you need to do a point to point. So let's get on and do a speed test. Again, we're in the standard mode. Ping is pretty solid at one millisecond. We're at 300 meters from the main property. So let's uh, fire up a speed test and see what we get. So again, uh, a good solid speed, 260 or so megasecond, just a little bit slower than we had um, at the main property, just 30 meters away. Uh, and we're not quite made that 300 mega. We remember we got about 315 megasecond previously, um, but fairly close considering we've got some trees and fence that we're going through and we're at 300 meters. So be solid, uh, happy in how that is uh, performing. So what we can do again is switch this into high bandwidth working mode, let the unit resync for a couple of minutes. All right, and we can now do another test. 
So you can see we've synced at 866 mega second. We're straight up to 378 on the download and we're hitting there 360 or so on the upload. So we look like again on this speed, we've probably dropped about 20 or 30 mega second, but again, pretty good, like I've said before, for the distance, 300 meters, and some of those struggles we've got with line of sight. And to be fair, we haven't really lined this up. We have just literally pointed it in the right direction. So let's head on over to our third site. And we can see the unit has already synced up. Um, we are a line of sight. You can see the uh, house there just in the distance. Um, again, we've not done anything clever. We've just really roughly pointed this in the right direction. Uh, we probably could get a little bit of performance increase if we were exactly lining this up, but let's see what we get. Again, we're standard um, working mode, pretty solid ping. We can see obviously, at, I think we're 772 meters. So let's say 800 meters. We're going to see a little bit of difference on the ping. So we doubled that one between one and five uh, milliseconds. So let's fire this up and see what we get. All right, so we're at that 250-ish. So we are a little bit slower, um, but not probably enough to worry about the 30 meters. And then again, the 300 is really solid and in this fairly similar speed. Upload again, remember at 30 meters, we got 315. We are actually getting closer to that from this, probably because we're more lined up and um, we've got slightly clearer line of sight and less ob obstacles. So again, a solid, solid thing at just under 800 meters. So let's swap this to high bandwidth mode. Ping sitting there again, still one to two milliseconds. Synced on the right hand side at 866 megaseconds. So let's fire this up and see what we can do. All right, so immediately there, 320 odd megasecond on our upload, or sorry, our download, uh, which again is a good solid performance. Probably a little bit faster again than we were getting at that middle section that we tested at. And 460-ish. Remember we were getting in those mid to high uh, 500 megaseconds when we were at 30 meters. So we've probably lost maybe 80 to 100 meg a second, but we are now at 800 meters from the main property. So again, a good solid perform. These are so simple to set up, uh, really out the box, ready to go, roughly point them in the right direction, and you are ready to do a point to point and get your connectivity out to your uh, different places in your farm, solar array, wherever you need to get those. So this was a performance review of the Ruji Ray EST350 wireless bridge.